I'm Lisa Archer from Pickle Pie Designs. I created this fun project for Creative Machine Embroidery. So let's go ahead and get started. Today we're making a sweet little softie. We're using cuddle fabric, which is so soft and plush, making this a great project to make for baby showers and for little ones who love that soft feel. I'm using the cuddle fabric with the bumps in it. it gives it a really fun texture. We're also using a darker cuddle fabric, just a solid um, cuddle for the snout. We have water soluble topping. We have a little piece of rickrack for the tail. We're going to use a hand sewing needle just to close up the project at the end. We're also using sulky tearaway stabilizer as well as water soluble topping. And we're also going to be using um, polyfill stuffing for the inside of the, the softy. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I have my stabilizer hooped and I have my hoop attached to the embroidery machine and I have the design already loaded. We'll stitch our first stitch sequence, which will create a placement line directly on the stabilizer, showing you exactly where to place the first piece of cuddle fabric. Okay, our first placement line is complete and you'll see that it's a piggy outline right on the stabilizer. Again, that's showing us exactly where to place the first piece of fabric. So we're taking our cuddle and just covering those stitch lines completely, making sure your, your fabric is covered, covering the stitch line. And we're just taping the fabric down to the stabilizer to hold it down. Okay, that's ready to go. We're gonna bring it back to the embroidery machine. And at this point, you would use pink thread or thread to match your fabric. I'm using a dark gray just so that, it, um, for demonstration purposes, you can actually see it on camera. We'll go ahead and trim that thread so that it doesn't get caught. This stitch sequence is tacking your cuddle fabric down to your stabilizer. Okay, now that that stitch sequence is complete, we are going to bring it back. And I just want to trim that extra thread there. Now the next stitch sequence will create a placement line for the snout. Once again, clip that beginning thread. Now that this stitch sequence is done, we'll take it over to the mat. And you'll see the circular placement line in the center of the piggy. Take your second piece, your smaller piece of fabric, cuddle fabric, place it over that placement line and tape it in place to secure it. Okay, now that we have it taped down, we just bring it right back to the embroidery machine. And this next stitch sequence will tack down that piece and create a cutting line so you know where to cut. We're going to bring it once again back to the cutting mat. And you'll see that circular line, the cutting line. That shows you exactly where you should cut out that applique. And I have applique scissors. I'm going to cut around the outline, 
cutting as close as I can to the stitch line without cutting through the stitches. You'll be um, creating a satin stitch, and you want to make sure that satin stitch um, covers all of the applique fabric here. You don't want any of the little fuzzies sticking outside of that satin stitch. And you can move your hoop around as you're cutting so you can get in there a little better. Okay, so now we have the snout cut out. We're going to add a layer of water-soluble topping. And water-soluble topping helps to hold down fabrics like Cuddle that have um, long fibers, and it helps the stitches stay on top of those long fibers instead of sinking down. So we're just going to cover our project with a layer of water-soluble topping and tape that down, keep it in place. And then we'll bring this back over to our embroidery machine. I have changed the thread color to a darker pink that matches the snout fabric. And our next st stitch sequence will uh, create the satin stitches around the snout. Okay, now that the snout has finished, we're going to change our thread to stitch the eyes, the mouth, and the nostrils. I'm gonna to change to a dark gray. I like to use dark grays or dark browns in place of blacks when I'm stitching baby items. I think sometimes black thread on a soft, pretty pink fabric can look very harsh. Go ahead and trim that thread. Now that that stitch sequence is done, let's take it back to our mat. There was one more thing that was stitched during that stitch sequence on the side of the piggy here. It's a placement line for his tail. Now we're going to want to trim all the jump stitches. And we're going to remove the uh, water soluble topping. It has done its job and we don't need it anymore. Okay, so now we're getting ready to make the piggy's tail. I have this really fun colored rickrack that just gives it a little more uh, dimension. And we're going to fold it in half and take a piece of tape. And we're going to look at that placement line there to guide us. And we're going to tape the raw edges outside of the placement line and the fold towards the nose. That will hold it in place. And we'll take our final piece of cuddle fabric, place it over the whole project, making sure all the placement lines are covered completely. And we're going to tape it down to hold it. And let's bring it back to our embroidery machine to finish up the project. I'm continuing to use this dark colored thread so that you can see it better, but you'll want to switch to a pink or a thread color that matches your fabric. When I design softies, I like to go around the outline twice just to make it a little more secure when you turn it inside out and you're pushing out the, uh, the seam. It's a little a stronger reinforcement. Okay, we 
we have finished the stitching, so let's take this back to our cutting mat. Our stitching is complete, so we can go ahead and take all the tape off the project and remove it from the hoop. And then you'll want to tear away all of the stabilizer from the back of the project. And then go ahead and trim around the outline. And your project should look like this at this point. Near the opening of the pig, I leave a little extra seam allowance so that when I turn those seams to the inside, I have a little extra material to work with. So you'll go ahead, turn this inside out through the opening. And I have that done here. When you've turned it inside out, you'll go ahead and stuff it with filling. When you're working with filling, it is really bunched up in the package. So I like to fluff it out a little bit before I stuff it in the pig. It gives it a really fluffy feel inside without any hard lumps. So you'll go ahead and place your stuffing inside the pig until it's nice and full. And when you're filling the ears, you really want to use a pencil or a chopstick, something that you can push the stuffing, use to push the stuffing up into each corner. Once you're done stuffing it and you, it's exactly where you want it to be, you'll take a hand sewing needle and thread and you'll just give it a quick whip stitch to close. So you can go ahead and finish that at home and then your uh, piggy softy is complete. Thank you for joining me today. I had a lot of fun stitching this project with you and I hope you'll have fun stitching your own piggy softies for shower gifts and all the little ones in your life.